welcome back to my channel. We're with Alex Hi. from the last video. If you haven't seen that one, it's freaking hilarious. Go see it. But we're doing a mukbang today, and we're gonna be talking about things and encouraging you guys. If you hear any noise in the background, that's our kids. They're in the toddler. Can say you always fun. The toddler room. They're in there playing. She's laughing. It's my daughter. There. Let me start off. When we went to go get McDonald's, oh my gosh. there was a meltdown from both of them. We were about to have a meltdown ourselves. My daughter started crying. Then her daughter started crying. Then they started just acting crazy. And we had to get out. Then, I, then the dude, I felt sorry for him, the young kid, he looked like he was new. I don't know. But I ordered two cheeseburger meal. And she ordered the quarter pounder meal. And here, I'm thinking, I ordered a quarter pounder meal. So when I only saw one box, I said, where the hell be a sandwich? <laughs> She's sitting on her. Anyway. So then, Zayara, sit nicely. There you go. So anyways, the poor kids are going to be like, he's so confused. And the quarter pound meal only comes with the quarter pounder one sandwich so then he's looking at me and then the manager came and he's looking at me crazy I'm like wait a minute and he's like no it's a cheeseburger meal I'm like oh my god he's right and then we just left because I was a hot mess because these two were crying like crazy that was the worst that was the worst but we're okay <laughs> by the grace of god nice he's laughing at <laughs> so what we got is McDonald's. Yeah. I got the quarter pounder <laughs> like with I said. meal with the fries, but instead of like a regular drink, we got a shamrock shake. The best. And today's my cheat day. So. I cheat almost every day, so. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And then you got what you get? I got the cheeseburger meal. Two cheeseburgers. <laughs> two out of us, a uh, two quarter pounder meal. Like yeah. two. Yeah. So anyway, my daughter's cracking up. <laughs> anyway, so what did you want to talk about? She had this idea. So my damn fries are cold. <laughs> my idea was to like have like a something that's called an intervention, something that you click on and you know just to kind of encourage you to keep going because it can get tough yeah. um, life in itself like I just wanted to go by experience just like what has happened to me um, in the past in the past three weeks yeah. um, it became really rough for me and um, I was at a point where I was just really going through it and I didn't want to speak to anybody and I was just going through a process of like isolation and just keeping everything in I even took off my social media just I wanted to be alone. Um, so it can get really hard, especially when you close yourself in and you don't let anybody else in. When people who are really genuine want to be there for you. So it can get really tough. So what I wanted to do is just kind of come on here with her and just kind of encourage whoever else is going through something like a time of, sorry, of isolation that, so you know that you're not alone. Yes. Not feel alone. You always have God. Have us yep. too. Like if you ever want to reach out to us, please comment below and yeah. and um I'll leave our well, my social media down there. You guys can you know um, add me. <coughs> Most of the time I'm with Alex when I get a chance. My daughter's dying laughing for her daughter. But the thing is, my I don't have no other kid. My daughter barely sees kids except my nephew and her, and they're they're in the same age range. Like my daughter's eight months, and her daughter's one years old. So she don't always have friends here. It's only me and daddy. So when she has a friend, she's so excited. Look at her. She's just laughing. Anyways, I just had to explain that. It's so funny. But anyways, yeah, like Alex said, isolation is good because you want. And God says to 
open up to each other. Tell each other your sins. Tell each other like what you're going through because you never know what that person who went through the same thing and you can encourage them. So it's not good because that's what the enemy wants is to keep you isolated. Because he doesn't want you to reach out to somebody so that they can, you know, you can be set free and you know feel free from that. And your testimony will touch somebody and help them. So that's what we're hoping to do in this video. I hope you know you guys are encouraged. But I too went through isolation in my life. You know, when I was 16 in high school, I would come home and be by myself and um, just be depressed, you know? And I kept myself away from a lot of people because I was born in high school and middle school. And it was hard. And until I met my best friend Amanda, hi Amanda. three months that's terrible but in Maya's birthday but anyways look at how they're sitting <laughs> sorry you guys gotta see this hold on wait look how cute they're like sitting back to back <laughs> all right I don't know how good that was but I hope you guys saw it was cute but anyways so until I met my best friend she really helped me she really helped me come out of my shell like out of that like stage of depression She's like, come on, I'm gonna be your best friend. And we are best friends since till, till now. She was like 14, I was 16 at the time, and we both became very close. But that's what you need is friends, you know? And Alex, I try to reach out to her, and when I feel like God is like, okay, ask Alex how she's feeling, because he always knows what she's feeling. <laughs> and it's crazy, because at the right time, he'll tell me, and then she'll either reach out to me, or I will reach out to her. Like, right when I'm gonna reach out to her, she reaches out to me. <laughs> And I'm like, girl, I was gonna get to you, you know? <laughs> yep. But anyways, but God always works in that way because me and her are connected spiritually. Mm -hmm. Like, nothing can take that away. That she's my little sister in Christ. She, she's really my friend, but we call each other family. Mm -hmm. We're sisters. It you feels know? more like family than Yeah, friendship. she's more my my family. But yeah, like Alex said, it's not good to be isolated. Unless God wants you to be isolated for his purpose. Yeah, like, like for him. But when you're isolated by yourself, but you're in like negative yeah. company or you're in negative thoughts, that's definitely not something that's good for you. Um, I felt like because I was in that state of feeling isolated and feeling like I was in a negative state, I felt like that was just something that God put on my heart to tell, to want to be able to open up and tell you guys, yeah. and tell the kids. That's what's going on a lot in this world. We're all very isolated and we don't want to open up to one another yep. because we may feel like that person might judge us or they might take us for a sucker or yep. whatever the case is. But that's not the case here. Like, I actually would love to help a bunch of young moms like me and um, just help them come out of their shells and really be with one another. You know, unity, you know, yeah. like what happened to just being, you know, together and as open one. to each other definitely yeah. like we're all women we should all stick together yes we have you know our moments but like yeah. we should all stick together as mothers and you know be there for the children and stuff because it's hard to do it on your own i give her her and all you single mom props because i don't know how i can do it without my husband to be honest with you like i need help it's very hard it doesn't matter if you have one two three four five ten kids you need help. It's hard. You know, like, there's days that, you know, as a mom, you feel like you need time for yourself, you know, because as a mom and a wife, I do a lot. You know, I'm always constantly doing things for my husband, for my daughter. My husband helps me a lot, too. But I feel like if I don't keep this house together, it will fall apart. That's how I feel. So being with my daughter and trying to cook and clean and make sure that my house is good, it's the hardest thing ever, and I give props to you single mothers because I don't know how you guys do it alone. You know, I can't do it, and God bless you guys for that. You know, I she's strong, y'all strong. Like y'all should have a, a freaking what's it called, like a plaque, like, like a <laughs> reward yeah. because you guys are awesome. Like Brenda, my sister, I love you. You're an amazing mom. You raised those two kids. There was um, two under two, and you raised them by yourself. And I give you props, Brendan. You're an amazing mom. Like, you have done such a good job with Nathan and Shania. They're going to be somebody one day. And Nathan, I can see him. God yeah. said he's going to change nations. That's what he means, even through, in, through basketball. And he's going to make it one day, you know? She did an amazing job with Nathan. Yes. 
you guys all are doing an amazing job. So you guys should really give yourself applause because you guys are amazing moms. And even when you make mistakes, doesn't mean you're a bad mom. You're not. You know, you're just, you're human. Like me. The other day I got frustrated with my daughter and kind of like, I didn't, I kind of like got mad and I gripped her, but not hard. But I was like, Maya, you know, <laughs> but um, that still hurt me because I never do that. And I was just like, what the hell, you know, and my husband, I told him, he was like, it's okay. You didn't hurt her. You didn't even grip her hard. But mm -hmm. to me, it broke my heart. And I hugged her and said, I love you, mommy. You know, didn't mean that and I will never do that again. And we make mistakes. We're parents. We're going to make mistakes. And we're not perfect. Uh, no, we're not perfect. But you know what? When you put God in the center of your marriage, in the center of your children, in the center of your life, he may, He helps you through it. You're not he by really yourself. Does. So I noticed that that day I was sitting on my bed, and we usually do Bible class, me and my husband, and I prayed. And as I was praying, God touched my heart, and he said, Sarah, it's okay. It's okay that you made a mistake. Stop beating yourself up. Because I was beating myself up. Yeah. I, was, I was angry with myself for that. And God was just like, it's okay. We, I forgive you. She forgives you. It's okay. And we will work on it. It's called work in progress. So. We just have to, like, stay strong and stick together. Yeah. And just keep pushing through it. Exactly. Know? No matter how it looks. Like, this is what I was telling um, Pastor Yolam on yeah. Wednesday. Um, kind of like, we should stay focused on God instead yeah. of what the situation looks like. Because... And that's something that's very hard to do. Yeah. Because, you know, like us, we like to do everything alone. Like, oh, how am I going to do this? How am yeah. I going to do that? Oh, this has to get paid. This... Instead of running like a chicken without a head, mm -hmm. you should be sitting calm in peace. I'm praying. And, and praying and knowing that God will provide. And yeah. God will make sure that. So his you... word says, don't worry about everything, but what? Pray, Pray about, about everything. everything. Yep. And that's exactly what my dad told me. And wow, look at that. I was like, hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh. You know, but it is true. God's working. You know, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. Yeah. And every single little thing that you might think that it's stupid to pray about, it isn't. Pray about it. And you'll see the change in your life. Yeah. That's true. Like, I got, us women, point blank, have a tendency to worry. Mm -hmm. Like Martha from the Bible. Instead of sitting at his feet like Mary, we're over here like Martha going, Oh my God, the houses need to be clean. And, uh, like, who we need the house to be clean for, you know? I mean, at the moment, yeah, you know, you want your house clean, but what's more important is going to God first and telling him, God, look, I'm a hot mess.com. Like, I need you. Like, I was, I was so focused on the situation. I was so focused on life that I forgot to come to God. And I, and I felt it, you know, and I was like, what am I doing? I, I don't come to you anymore like you used to, you know? It, things change when you have kids and when you're married. Like, I don't, for, I don't try to forget God, but sometimes you're in that moment where you're, like, trying to do things on your own. And God's like, all right, I'm going to let you. And then when you're ready, you can come to me. Because I know you can't do it by yourself. And then when we're a hot mess with our hairs like this and... Freaking tears and mocos coming out. And we're like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know? And God's like, you okay? You ready? You ready to give it to me now? <laughs> yeah. You know, because we're like that. We're like that. We're just made that way. I'm not made that way, but we're like, we're human. And we we get forget that God said, hey, give me your burdens. You know? I mean, we get overwhelmed. Like, we put so much pressure on ourselves yeah. to, like, make it perfect. But we know that. When God, when God plans something, it's perfect. When we plan something, something's always subject to change. Something yeah. always messes up along the way. Something always breaks or falls or something is always. Just... And then we cry and say, "Why is nothing going my way?" Yeah, because like, I'm not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> like He wants it to go His way. And His know? ways is perfect. Absolutely. There was times when I was single, and I was like, "I want a man. I want a husband." And then this local comes in my path and act like he's Christian. And then he's a hotmess.com because he's spitting scripture that not even in the Bible. Like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then God's like, are you ready to submit to me? Yes. Because I'll be picking these locals. And I, I have a good husband because I waited. Mm -hmm. I didn't go with any 
crazy nut out there. Trust me, I had guys who wanted to be with me and said they wanted to marry me. I looked at them and said, the devil is a liar. <laughs> Not me. But I'm like at the moment doing the same thing. Like We got to wait. God. Just, just waiting on God because at this moment I'm not rushing to be in a relationship because I, I don't feel like I'm ready mm -hmm. and I don't want to be in one right now because I'm not mentally there. Yeah. And I'm not gonna just get into something and just be more miserable. I just want to wait yeah. on God and just see how it plays out. God is good. The girls are playing perfect. That's quiet. Tonight. <laughs> I learned in the nursing homes the nurses used to tell me if they're coughing they're breathing <laughs> so my daughter's eye like, <laughs> she said that in the car and I started laughing yeah. but yeah so we hope to encourage you with this stuff. <laughs> they're mini us the kids What's up, Yaya? Anyway, so oh damn, I lost a fry. <laughs> Man. Oh, sorry, my face is all up in there. I'm not really hungry. Sorry, I'm sorry, just excuse us. <laughs> if you have any questions or maybe an idea for the next video, I was just about to say that. Like, <laughs> we can do another mukbang like. Once in a blue together. If you like seeing us eat, because I eat like an animal when I'm hungry. If you like videos like this, give me a thumbs up. Please. You guys don't give me a thumbs up. You watch it, but you don't give me a thumbs up. Please give me a thumbs up. Please. Maybe we should do like a ASMR or attempt. Yeah, you guys, if you have any questions for us, like we can answer, like a QA and a maybe mm -hmm. too. So, but. Put on your like, your Instagram. Like, yeah. For them to ask you questions and then we'll get together. So, what else should we talk about with them? Mm. Are we done? <laughs> I don't know how long is this video. Eight, almost 18 minutes. Okay. Well, I should be good. I guess we should just like wrap up the video. Yeah. So, we're just gonna wrap up the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry, I just took over, you know. No. <laughs> I like it. Take but, over. but I hope you guys, you know, got something out of this video. Yes. Um, this is just something I felt very heavily on my heart uh, just to share with you guys. Um, just because, you know, I was, we had already planned for me to come over here. Yeah. And uh, I was like, why don't we do like a mukbang with like an intervention kind of thing. Yeah, I'm glad we did. Um, I am too. We went to the park today too. It was pretty With fun. the girls. Yeah. I'll put some pictures or video at the end. Yeah. And um, but we're gonna close out today's video. So please mm -hmm. like, comment, and subscribe, mm -hmm. and leave down any comments of what you would like to see from mm -hmm. us and yeah. her future for future videos. <laughs> yes. Um. So thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to hit the bell. Hit the bell so you get notified for every video yep. that she posts. God bless. God bless Bye. you.